Hello, my name is Ivan. Welcome to the Galen Framework video tutorials. In the previous tutorial, I have shown you how to use structured report in Galen Framework. In this video, I would like to show you how to attach files to your reports. This is a very useful feature, I use it quite a lot in my test projects. And the most obvious case is attaching a screenshot of the last state of the browser in case the test has failed. And what I also like to have in my reports is the page source, that helps me a lot. For instance, if something is wrong with the locator and Galen cannot find an element, but I see it on a screenshot, then I can use a page source to find out if the DOM has changed and if I have to update my locator. So let's see how to do that. Let's get back to our code. And now we have here the before test function and the after test uh, function. We will use the after test event. We need to change it a little bit. Each after test and before test event always passes to the callback the test instance as an argument. So let's use it. So now we have to check if the test has failed or not. Let's do it like this. Now we will get the report instance. And we will report uh, some message. And to this message we will attach the file. And it works like this. Now I have to give a name for a file and the file itself. So we need to take a screenshot and there is a function for that which is called take, take screenshot. It takes the driver and, and it returns the Java file instance. For this with attachment function that is exactly what we need. And now let's attach a page source. But we will do it differently. Instead of saving it to a file and attaching it, we will use another function which is called with text attachment that stores it in a file and attaches to the report. And we will just use the driver for that. Now, in order for this to work, we need to make our test fail. So let's just throw an error inside the test. And let's run the test. Here we go, we have an error message and below it we have our screenshot and page source attachments. Let's check them. So here is the screenshot and the page source. So this is the page source of the last state of the browser. Also, if you don't want to have these in the separate messages, you can combine them into a single message like this. So we will just attach the page source to the same message. Let's see how it will look like. So here we go, we have a single message, though we might need to change the text, saying screenshot and page source for example. And again we have same attachments. So as you can see this is quite easy. 
and I hope it was interesting for you. Thanks for watching.